There were apprehended the young converts Revocatus and Felicity, his fellow servant, Saturninus and Secundulus. With them also was Vibia Perpetua, nobly born and wedded honorably and having a son still breastfeeding. And she herself was about 22 years of age. What follows here shall she tell herself? The entire account of her martyrdom as she left it written by her own hand and in her own words. So begins the story of a young noblewoman whose acts of courageous love and dedication for her God would remain a lasting testimony for generations to come and make her one of the most revered saints in the history of the church. The story of Perpetua is contained in a document called The Passion of Saints Perpetua and Felicity, or in Latin, Pasio Sanctarum Perpetua et Felicitatus. The word Pasio meaning suffering. Written almost entirely in her own hand, the account of Perpetua's fate is the oldest existing document known to be written by a Christian woman. Only the introduction and ending were reported by another person, because Perpetua came to a point in the story where she could continue the journal no longer, as will be seen as the story unfolds. But who was this young woman who is commemorated in the second part of the Canon of the Mass, and why is her story of importance to us today? Born in the second century in Carthage, Tunisia, in one of the wealthier shipping port cities in the Mediterranean, Perpetua was welcomed into a family of high social standing. What routinely happened was that when a baby was born, the baby was placed at the foot of the father, and the father would raise up the child, okay? Take the child in his arms, if the father wanted the child. Now, if the father didn't want the child, the child would be taken away and either drowned or left at the dung heap at the, at the edge of town. This was very common, and it was commonly done to daughters. It's a sad fact that, um, that the daughters were often referred to as odious daughters in Roman literature because of the drain they were on the family economy. So it's not a pretty world for women. And yet, here she was. She was in a family where she was obviously doted on by her father. 